Uh, the mansion is a typical country house. It's got it's got a very large estate. Uh, it's um, it's got a park of a thousand acres, and the mansion is on a hill overlooking three valleys. Uh, unfortunately, it, uh, it got burnt in 1917, uh, and it's been a ruin ever since, and it was very badly damaged in the 50s. Uh, the trust was set up in 93, and we raised the money and purchased the house and its gardens in 95. Uh, very soon after that, we set up something called the, the Friends of the Cockatoo Trust. The whole place has been saved for the people, the local people, and people further afield. Volunteers are very attracted to this place for a, for a number of reasons, really. Uh, partly because there's so many different things they can do. Uh, there's also a lot of volunteer teams. You know, if you want to join the refreshments team, there's a team there. So there's, there's always a team of people who will receive the volunteers, and they can have tea with them, jokes, etc., etc. It's very welcoming for volunteers, and it's multifaceted, and there's so many different things to do in different places. Yeah, it's got the door open, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. My name is Linda Stewart and I'm a tour guide at Copt Hall. We saw the house from the M25 and said, wish somebody would look after that poor old place. And then a friend said, come to an open day. So we turned up and we just fell under the spell of the place and joined as friends of the Trust there and then on that same day and got chatting to the tour guide then and said, you know, we'd like to get more involved, is there anything we can do? Uh, so I'm Jeremy, uh, I look after the South Terraces, so uh, below the uh, mansion and the causeway. Uh, I also work on uh, the yew and uh, box topiary and a few other places in the garden. Then Alan was super friendly from the beginning. He said, well, what sort of things would you like to do? And I said, well, I like gardening. He said, well, actually, I've got a garden thing in mind, and he came and showed me this. He said, would, would that be interesting if, if that's not what you had in mind? I can show you other things, and actually, I really liked what I saw here. Stone obelisks along the top of the causeway. One thing I can do is talk to people. I have a, a love of history as well, so I asked if I could become a tour guide, and they said yes. So I did some training, and I've been doing it now for about two years. Stone balustrade. You get a view down, down the causeway. I'm Thea, I'm team leader of the gates and I welcome people to Cop Tour. I'm also on the Friends Committee and I do an awful lot of other things as well. It's an amazing place to work and you can do whatever you like here. I always tell people, come here and work and enjoy yourself. Don't come here and do things that you don't want to do. Come here and do wonderful things. A keenness for people to do what they want to do. I remember Thea saying to me, Make sure you do what you would like to do here. Once you're a volunteer, you, there's all sorts of different things that you can do, like the refreshments team. Um, my husband's on the mowing team, but that's because he gets to ride on a ride on mower, which he likes. There's a huge amount of friendship here. The more you come, the more you get to know people, and the same people are here week in, week out. And the first Sunday we came, we were doing a fence for the rose garden and we got to about 11 o'clock in the morning and Alan said all oh, right we're going for tea now and I said oh well, can't we finish the fence and he said no no we've got to go for tea now and every Sunday we go we go to tea at 11 o'clock. Actually one of the things I liked about Cop Tour was the fact that it was owned by the people for the people run run by volunteers run by a trust. I would encourage people to to come and volunteer here because of the sense of community, both in terms of the people here, but also of belonging to an Epping Forest community. You can see the history in the bricks, and because it is part country house, part building site, you, you can see how the place has developed over the years. It's that sense of purpose, I think, um, to be part of something that is working towards getting the house finished. I, I've always said that it feels like a privilege to be part of the history of the house. It's actually also just physically a wonderful place to be. I mean, we're here on a, a glorious sunny September day, but even in the depths of winter, um, you know, there, there's been days when there's been sort of frost in the ground, but it's been beautiful sunlight. It's like a kind of, um, a kind of nest of good things happening. It's not, to do only with living in, it's not to do with living in the past, 
is that the, the people can come together and they can uh, make something happen that is 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 very good. The, the cause is that people, without any money whatsoever, can take this this place away from developers and uh, gradually put it back together again for education, culture, and community benefit.